with DJ LC, and he has a massive crowd growing at this early hour. So many people showing up, hoping to win a pair of tickets to the Mavs game tonight. So the Mavs Maniacs are here with the Mavs Dancers. They'll be giving those out at the end of our 6 o'clock hour. You have to be present to win, so come on down. It's going to be a hot ticket. Now, I have to say, I, this is the liveliest crowd really we've is. had this early in the morning in quite some time. Glad they're here, Greg. It's also some pretty nice temperatures for them outside. Oh, it's a great morning to be out there. So come on down. Maybe you'll be one of the lucky ones to win one of those pairs of tickets up for the game tonight. DJ LC is on the plaza this morning with the Mavs Maniacs. The Mavs are giving out three pairs of tickets to tonight's game. It's your opportunity. Come on down to the plaza. You have to be present to win. And we'll be back right after this. Tonight's the night to win. <laughs> It is May 2nd, 2014. Got a lot of friends out here for our party on the plaza. A jazz band outside uh, in honor of Wiley's first ever Jazz Arts Fest. It will feature college, high school, and junior high bands, as well as professional musicians. That's happening Saturday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Wiley is also going to uh, host a pedal car race for the yes. merchants in downtown. So we're going to talk all things Wiley. And it's also among those places where we got a recommendation for a coffee house. We'll share that as well with you coming up here in just a little lot going on. We're going outside with professional dancers from Studio 22 here in North Texas. They've even worked with some of the stars on Dancing with the Stars. You'll see why when we come back. Stay with us. You know, this season, as Dancing with the Stars heats up, we wanted to check in with Sergey and Michelle. They are co-owners of Studio 22 out in Addison. They have been guests all-star on the all-star season. You guys were guest pro dancers. Yeah, we performed with Cheryl Burke and a yeah. few other dancers. Yeah, so it was a special performance organized by Cheryl. It was one of part of their... Uh, I guess guest performances that they had in one of the result shows. Yeah, and we've had some locals here. Mark Cuban, he is trained at your studio in preparation for Dancing with the Stars. Also, uh, Michael Irvin. And Emmett Smith. Emmett, and how appropriate is that? Because you're Studio 22 and he is number 22. It was a complete fluke, yeah. Yeah, right? That was good kismet, I think, because I, he did really well even on the All-Stars edition. I think so, yeah. Well, if you guys want information on how you can get in on the dancing, I'm, I'm curious to know if Dancing with the Stars and the popularity of the show has led to more people wanting to learn how to dance. It's really opened up people's um, ideas and to, into coming in and uh, learning how to partner dance. Our studio is predominantly an adult-based dance studio and yep. all different types of styles, salsa, country western, west coast swing, Argentine tango. And you guys compete together internationally. What's next for you? Next for us coming up is the, probably the largest competition in the world uh, called Blackpool Dance Festival, which is located in Blackpool, England. We're leaving for it in three weeks. We just come back from England from doing a small competition, actually, less, a little bit more than 24 hours ago. So, well, good luck to that. Good luck to you with that. And make sure you check in with us as it wraps up. For more information, there it is. You can go to our website, learn how to dance at Studio 22. And we're going to get a quick lesson here as we go to break. I'm going to give this over here. Three pairs. Morning. Settle like down, Bourbon Blaze. I just want to do this for a second. And Cinco de Mato, how you Aww. can adopt these great rescue dogs from Operation Kindness tomorrow. We'll be right back after this. Daybreak continues. It's nine minutes after six. <laughs> do you see that? Keep your eyes. It is those, the tickets, not the dancers. We're talking about three sets of Mavs tickets. The Mavs Maniacs are here with the Mavs Dancers. They are giving those out. To those of you who come down to the plaza, you will 
get an opportunity to enter to win a set of those three tickets coming up here, and they are here with their DJ as well. DJ that LC and the Mavs good. DJ are having a DJ off. But they know how to share. They're, They're competing. playing very well together, <laughs> I might say. As we approach Cinco de Mayo, our friends at Operation Kindness, the largest no-kill animal shelter in North Texas, have come up with their own holiday-themed event tomorrow. We're going to tell you where in just a moment, but can you tell it's called Cinco de Mudo? Get it? Isn't that cute? Only to be outdone by Metallica. Did you see that earlier? The other adoption event over in Fort Worth. All right, so you've teamed up with Petmate, yep. and you've come up with a starter puppy kit. So if somebody adopts one of the dogs from Operation Kindness tomorrow, they get what? They are going to get everything they need for a new dog or puppy, toys, bowls, leash, and a kennel, all of that good stuff. So really, they get a, a healthy, happy dog and all the supplies that you need. Our thanks to Petmate for that. Petmate teaming up with Operation Kindness. Now, this is going to be at Mutt's Cantina tomorrow from 12 to 3. If you haven't been there, it's pretty great. It's off of 75 at Lemon. The Rustic is there as well. So stop on by for Cinco de Mutto. Julie Goff, Director of Operation Kindness, you do a great job. Thank you for stopping by. Now, Keep in mind, all of these cute little puppies you see right here this morning are all up for adoption. So go to our Facebook page, let us know. We'll put the information right there. DJ LC is in the plaza, and we are talking to the Wiley folks and their pedal race coming up over the weekend. A lot going on out in Wiley. And the Mavs are in the plaza as well. Look at those little ones. Don't we love them? We're going to have a little race there. The Mavs are also giving away three pairs of tickets. Let's check in with Greg. Hello, Greg. All right, guys. Yeah, we're out here. Our party, woo, our party on the plaza here this morning, and you can see the kids. If they drove in, these kids drove in this morning uh, to join us on the party on the plaza. We're going to be talking to them as with the uh, pedal cars coming up here in just a little bit. DJ LC in the house. Yeah. The Mavs maniacs. Big party on the plaza here this morning, giving away those tickets. So come on down and join us a little later today for the Mavs game tonight. Partying out here with the folks. We'll have more coming up here in just a little bit. It's pedal power in the city of Wiley this week. And we're going to head out to the plaza and tell you about a special race and just who it benefits. And those are our little drivers. Aren't they cute? <laughs> we're going to check in with them coming up. Nice way to start the morning. 639 here on this Friday, 54 degrees. We'll be right back. joined by right now by Craig Kelly. So we've got Jazz Fest this weekend. We we've also got Pedal Race 500 for the kids, a way to really showcase your family-friendly city. That's for sure. It's one of the more unique events in the entire Metroplex. We have about 125 kids, which are going to race in downtown historic Wiley. Exactly 500 inches this race goes. And most importantly, this race is going to benefit the Special Olympics. So how much do you hope to raise this week? We hope to raise around $1,500. There's a $10 entry fee, which benefits Special Olympics. And each participant gets a t-shirt as well as we see those bright day glow yellow t-shirts. All right, so here we've got our racers and I just want to showcase. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and one girl out of all these racers. What is your name, sweetie? Elizabeth. Are you going to kick these stinky boys' butts? No. <laughs> all right, let's get going. Let's get our racers now. Can I get a countdown from the crowd? Ready? Three, two, one. Go, Elizabeth! Go, Elizabeth! Go, 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 go! <laughs> all right. Now, it's important to know that they are all winners, correct? They're all winners. It's going to be a great race in downtown Wiley, so we hope everybody comes out this weekend. This all right. Sunday. Lots of fun. Remember, that's Saturday. This is Jazz Fest. That's on Saturday. The pedal race is on Sunday. And there is the information on your screen. Registration for the pedal race, $10. And again, it all benefits the Special Olympics in Wiley. Don't forget, when we come back on the other side of a break, we're giving away six Mavs tickets. Stay with us. We're back in just a moment. The folks in Wiley band together.
together, they have recommended Shoemaker and Hart as the best little coffee house in North Texas. In North Texas. So go there you go. Get yourself a cup of coffee from Yes. There. Now is the moment. We are giving away three sets of Mavs tickets. The Mavs are here to do that. Now, remember, the game is 6 o'clock tonight must here win. at the AAC. It is a must-win must game. There's no win. game seven if they don't win it tonight. All right, let's go down our first winner, Randy Randall from Louisville. All right. We have John Bennett from Garland and finally Kyle Woods from Mesquite. You have won Mavs tickets. Our thanks to the Mavs for coming out, the dancers, the maniacs, everyone else who joined us today for this great party on the plaza on this Friday. And let's give you one final shot of our control room as they get in the Mavs spirit. Have a great weekend, everyone. Good morning, America. Go Mavs. Next.